Uh, can, and now healthcare and prescription drugs. Healthcare. Medicare for all. Medicare for all. Medicare for all. Medicare for all. And that's not even like good enough. I want single parent healthcare or system. And Medicare all is just like a med Medicare insurance for all. So it's just like healthcare insurance for all. Oh, if and it's like it, that would still have its own issues because like there should not be any any like for profits uh, involved in healthcare whatsoever. Some liberals disagree with that, but that's because I. But that's why I don't talk to some liberals. That's where too. Oh, at least like some liberals block me honestly. Um, because, like, a lot of liberals kind of, like, get tired of me saying that, like, a capitalist in the case, fascism. Healthcare. Healthcare should be a right in America, not a privilege. Okay, then what are you going to do to make it a right? What are you going to do to make it a right? You were for Medicare for All in 2019. You're not anymore. Hey, I don't know about that. I work in boutique uh, medicine, and that's where a lot of advancements are made that try to trick and tell the masses. Okay. Uh, every, every American deserves the peace of mind and that the uh, quality affordable the government brings. I, again, I kind of like a quibble of the word affordable. Affordable to who? Because when you, uh, it, whenever you imply that like something's affordable, I'm going to assume that like, there's something that's going to be left behind that can't afford the affordable thing as well, too. In order for like things to truly be affordable, it has to be free. Just 100%. Anyway, that's why Democrats have fought hard uh, uh, to like pass the Affordable Care Act. I mean, I'm not going to discount that. That did like uh, significantly help people as well too. That's because we had a terrible like healthcare system and to begin with, where you can just be denied instantly just like because the healthcare providers decided to, like that's a pre-existing condition. Um. Uh, pass affordable care up. providing 45 million Americans with insurance guaranteeing protections from for a hundred million people with pre-existing conditions and protecting nearly 180 million people from lifetime coverage limits yet even now 14 years after we passed that at landmark law Trump and Republicans are still threatening to repeal it they don't I don't know what they're gonna repeal it with though they had like they attempted like uh, twice to do so and they couldn't like uh, repeal it They'll still try, yes, yeah, they'll, they'll try, but, like, they'll, they couldn't reveal it. Uh, continue on. Democrats will never let that happen. We'll never quit fighting to protect and expand the affordable hair cap, making, like, uh, quality care more accessible and affordable, as Biden and the Harris administration has done. Today, more Americans have, like, health insurance than ever in history. Coverage is up and costs are down. I work at 21 million people, like, sign up through the Affordable Care Act this, like, year, helping slash the uninsured rates from 16% in 2010 to, like, under 8% now. Um, still not zero, though. Uh, Democrats have expanded the health insurance premium and tax and credit at like twice as well too. Uh, okay, you're doing this. I had like one more comment, but I'll wait until you are done um, with this for a form of respect. All right, hello, you are. Um, uh, and Lucidia is singing the opening thing song to a magical girl uh, uh, show as well too. So Lucidia is being Lucidia and us being cute. Um. And hi, Carpet Packs. How are you doing? Huh? Let me give a shout out to like um, Tyler is a great guy, and Carpet Packs. It's not an opening actually. Okay, but it is a song from like a magical girl show, right? Okay, so Tyler is a great guy. Was like doing some political action and loss. Again, thank you for the raid yesterday. Tyrell, I'm copying that message over to my YouTube uh, page as well. And Carpy Packs, I'm going to give you a shout out to your Twitch channel, like uh, here. And I'm going to copy that message over as well to my YouTube uh, uh, chat as well. Uh, um, although, on this issue that you are presenting, I'm curious uh, are you anti Harris? Sorry, I was reading the stream. Uh, at the beginning, actually, so Kirok, at the beginning of the stream, I kind of like uh, copy, uh, read out loud a section from David Graeber's Bullshit Jobs and Policy. I'm just going to like give, um, DM you that like uh, a thing. Actually, I'm just going to like DM that the whole message. Did I lost it? No, okay, I didn't lose it. Um,
Because, like, yeah, I have the problem with the concept of policy in of itself. Because, like, it assumes that, like, there is, like, just, like, uh, that we are in line in the agreement with, like, the political leads on this sort of thing, too. And that's, like, well, oh, when we say kind of, like, we and something like that, it's assuming that we and society all agree in this. But it's really only, the, like, the 3-5% that actually affect policymakers and have influence over policymakers that will actually decide policy and then force that policy on the rest of us. Uh, and David Graves is an anarchist as well, too. And so, uh, Kirok, anyone that wants to have the power that the office of the president gives should not be someone we trust. Just period. Because someone who wants that power just wants that power. Some more than others. And some... And it, and and not a show it either from the movie Fear to Cure Old Stars. I see. That's still an anime song, a magical girl a song. And so you're still cute for like just like singing in, in entirely in magical girl songs. Um let's see. Uh if you guess like a a a Kirok, I am an anarchist, I'm against the state. Uh against the state because the state is course a course of unjustifiable hierarchy. And Whatever the Democrats do is not going to be good enough for what uh, that I will want to happen because like, the Democrats are also going to uphold capitalism and I'm against capitalism because capitalism is also another like uh, course of unjust Bible hierarchy as well too. Uh, what hierarchy is justified? What hierarchy is justified? Uh, it's uh, okay, like, is it okay for someone to like permanently have like a power over you indefinitely, forever, and have have the uh, and have power you in that hierarchy of domination? It's in their place. Okay, uh, uh, Kirok, any one of us can be criminals. That could be a criminal if I'm prosecuted for like playing online poker. Because in Washington State, all I'm playing all in poker is a class A felony. Uh, because we don't make the laws either. It's like policy makers that make the laws. And again, they have the power to do that. And they have and they have the power of the state to enforce and have such laws be enforced on us as well, too. As I don't see like criminals as like organically separate or it's just like separate being as were too. Then like us. Not saying that I want to hang out with the criminals as well, too. But, like, if you just get rid of poverty, you just get rid of, like, 99% of the crimes. And, but that goes into, like, a, something that... If you like, if you don't understand me, you're not going to understand me then. Because if you're not going to understand me, I don't know what to say to you then. And because you... Especially since you have a firm held belief about, like, there are criminals as well, too. And if I cannot persuade you otherwise or convince you otherwise about that sort of thing, you're never going to understand me because I don't even agree with that starting point of, like, but there are criminals. It's like, crim who are the criminals? And how did they get to be criminals? And what drove them to that as well, too? And even you're going to like point to the 0.1% of the people that, like... Uh, will do horrific acts and cannot be like reformed from doing those horrific acts as well too. Okay. Then you find like uh, the, maybe the 0.1% we got to protect ourselves from, but there's a 0.1%. The, and so, so here, you're probably never going to understand me. Just like accept that. If, if you are a realist and live, this is the world we live in. This is the world we live in. You will not understand me. You will not. Um, uh, let's see, okay. So, Democrats will never let that happen. We will never keep uh, fighting to protect and expand the affordable care off and making quality care more accessible and affordable. That's been in hires has done as well, too. Uh, if it, if, if it was uh, as possible to have a hierarchy that truly serves the people and all is possible, oh, then I think it would be the only one that's uh, one's justifiable. But that's unrealistic. It's just getting into the human society. Here's one thing if a hierarchy that is like justified because it's a consensual hierarchy. If I'm 
if I am sick, I am like have an illness of some kind, and I don't know what is like wrong with me. I'm not a medical doctor, either, and I shouldn't treat myself anyway. Then I'll go to like someone who's like expertise in like medicine and say, "Doctor, I am sick." Then I'll be consenting into the hierarchy, not a hierarchy of domination, but a hierarchy of doctor over patient. But once I'm well, once like whatever was ailing me is like a, a gone, and it's like I'm fit and like healthy again and something like that, then that doctor patient hierarchy goes away and we're now just like comrades. Flatten hierarchies as much as possible. It is I yeah, sure I could go about what a battle was in as well too, but like Hey, okay, Kirok, you can believe that... Fine, Kirok, you live in a different world. Just, just accept that. You live in a different world. We are not going to... And, like, hey, you're not going to, like, to see... We're not going to see, see eye to eye to that. I'm just, Let's just just give up on that, Kirok. Just give up. If you're still trying to understand me, you won't. For our base assumptions are not the same. And if you feel that you need to educate me, I won't be convinced by you. Just give up on trying to educate me. I'm sorry, Kirok. Just give up. Just give up on trying to educate me. I am a cab. I, I, all cops are bastards. The state is a course of unjust vital hierarchy. Prisons are not the good deterrent either. Yeah. I've accepted that, like, it, I accepted that, like, we cannot prevent murder from, like, never ever happening. We are just like one great big cosmic coincidence. Murders happen more often from like you are more likely to be murdered by someone you love, or someone that loves you. Most people often know they're murderers. So, sorry, Kirak. Uh, anyway, back to like the policy, the democratic policy part of slate. Hey, Kirak, I'm just going to ignore you because uh, I'm sorry, Kirak. I'm going to ignore you. We're not going to like have a, a, our own conversations between you and me while I'm on stream, like trying and talk about like the Democratic Party platform. I don't. I spend uh, five and a half hours only going through like 18 pages as well too, and I have like a, there's like. N n uh, this is a full 92 page document of like nine chapters. I'm going to try to like get through this as well too. You can, like, distract from the stream as much as you want, like, if I'm playing Skyrim or other things like that. Uh, but know the key rock. Uh, it's just, just accept this. You and I are not going to agree on things, and you won't understand me. I don't know how else to, like, make my position more clear. I'll try. I'll try to, like, make my positions clear and stuff like that. But just know... That, like, if you have the firmly held belief that there are criminals and like that, and you're never going to change your mind on that, guess what, Kirok? You're never going to understand me. You just won't. Then, and again, I'm not interested in being educated by you. I'm just not. Ed, I, if there are the rough crowd or if there are criminals around, that's because of capitalism. That's because this is uh, this society leaves them to be leaves people to rot. The, the Democratic Party believes in illegal immigrants. I'm not sure I'll be able to get to that chapter in time. So it's like, but no one person is illegal. There's no such thing as a illegal person. Um, don't know why Kiraka watches you when he's like pro status quo and he thinks you are naive about society. Uh, He's fascinated by me. In the way I kind of like opened this up, because Kirok is like a viewer of like Steve Shives, and I kind of got tilted by like one of his questions to like Steve Shives. And I wanted to like try to educate like uh, Russell slash Kirok on like uh, why I think he was like wrong about like this, that, and the other thing. Um, and I wanted to like educate him. So I kind of initiated this, and he's been like watching me ever since. It's been over a year, honestly. Um, yeah, but more and more, I just seem to, like, frustrate him as well, too. And sometimes he tilts me. 
uh, he dealt with me so much one time that, like, I banned him from my chat because he would not drop the subject of, like, the, uh, the cops. I was, uh, even though I'm, I'm a very political person and I'm willing to just talk about, like, a lot of things, not necessarily during my politics streams. My politics streams, I want to be, like, focused on what I'm reading about. I mean, police will come up on, like, this Democratic Party platform, so it's probably not too far out of the, like, realm of the conversation. But right now we're at the lowering costs chapter of the party platform, so about economics as well, too. Please play a part in the economics well too, um, uh, but uh, yeah, the, the one time Kirak would not drop the like the topics about the police. He, hey, I, even though I have to time out, I had told him why I time out, and I tell him please drop the subject or else I'll ban you. He didn't drop the subject, so I banned him. Then I have since unbanned him. Yes. Uh, anyway, continuing on, we're talking about like lowering costs today. More Americans have high health insurance and. And more Americans have health insurance than, than ever in history. Uh, coverage is up and costs are down. A record 21 million people signed up through the Affordable Care Act this year, helping to slash the uninsured rate from, oh, I already read this part, from 16% in 2010 to like under 9% now. Democrats have expanded the health insurance uh, premium tax uh, credit twice, saving million, millions of Americans an average of $800 a year on coverage and helping an additional 1.7 million Latinos and 830s like black Americans and 110 like Asian Americans Americans and buy more affordable insurance. A proponents in line to let these credits expire, increasing permanents. Uh, Democrats will like fight to like make them permanent. And also like Zal, uh, Zal, how are you doing? Let me give you a shout out. I think it's like Zal Rock underscore Chaos on Twitch. Yep, yeah, you were last playing like Yakuza like a dragon. Uh, I hope the Democrats don't want to make that permanent, but also, like, like they wish that, like, Kamala Harris goes back to being for Medicare for All, and she's not for Medicare for All. Doing well, playing something like a uh, Bolt Skate 3 food, but nice. As Democrats, we support Medicare expansion, encouraging like states to provide health care to like low income like Americans on the federal ta uh, government tab. Uh, the administration has helped over a million in four stores to enroll, and will keep pushing Congress to like further uh, expand uh, Medicaid like coverage and uh, to 2.8 million uninsured young adults who like live in states where Republicans still refuse to help. Democrats are working to protect kids' uh, health uh, coverage as well by removing financial barriers for like uh, children's health insurance programs and make it easier for like families to keep kids on like Medicaid. Uh, President Biden's plan will let like families go uh, three years without like a, having to resubmit uh, Medicaid paperwork for children younger than six and reducing burden burdens in red tape. Honestly, I don't see why like make the like, Medicare and Medicaid like available for everyone as well too. Again, like suspend the social safety. If we're if we are going to have a state um, that is going to be well impose its will onto us as well too, I hope that like it takes care of its citizens as well. Which like strange like a uh, comment I got on Threads one time. Uh, no, it was uh, about that as well too. Uh, um, which kind of like well, it, it, I was like saying I was an anarchist and it was like no oh, wait. I, I'm, I'm getting distracted on by myself as well, too. I can look at the, the post, uh, the comment of, of self as well, too. But I'm going to continue reading this. Democrats believe that the quality, affordable like, health care should be available at, in every corner in America. So, okay, then why can, how come you're not for Medicare for all, then? Or for a single-player health care system? Or grid and rid of, like, uh, the profit motive in, like, uh, health care? All right, I'm sitting back down, transitioning back over. I mean, I can like continue the topic if I want to as well too, because like that might come up. Uh, and I'll come up eventually in the reading of like um uh of like, policing as well too. Unfortunately, the Democrats are going to be uh tough on crime and like having hire more and more and more and more police because apparently just like throwing more cops at the problem is going to help solve a problem. It doesn't. But it, like, helps people feel safe. Because that's more important, to feel safe. Despite the fact that the crime has gone down. And uh, while well, it's, like... But also, like, the problem with the prisons as well is they're also for profits. And for, like, the prisons to be, like, profitable, they have to have, like, the prisons to be full of people as well. 
it's the drug hence a war on crime uh, it's a war on drugs uh hence the like 1994 crime bill uh and also like people use that like prison and labor for like very cheap labor in order to like make profits again too Geez, when if there's a profit mode then on everything is like everything turns to shit because of that or it makes it like uh, incredibly horrific for like people Anyway, right now we're talking about lowering costs and right now about health care. Democrats believe that the quality that quality affordable health care should be available to in every corner of America. So Medicare for all or remove the profit mode from like healthcare. But I don't know if like they will be able to do that. The administration has invested in a new health like a uh, mobile uh, new mobile health care uh, clinics and is like keeping communities in rural uh, health uh, and rural health centers uh, lifelines uh, for tens of millions of people um, open and well staffed and well equipped. We want to like double those investments now. And the administration is cracking down on federally funded like uh, health care providers that turn away or otherwise discriminate against people on the basis of like race, uh, sex, uh, age, national origins or disability. We're attacking your ideas, and more Kirok. Because we are against the idea that there's just like criminals as well, too. You firmly believe that, don't you? We disagree. Wait, continue on. Democrats will keep working towards like a growing the healthcare or work air force. So workplace and like other providers have shortage it no longer carries the burdens to like quality like care and inflated healthcare costs. We are are investing in programs that like train primary care practitioners, registered nurses, mental health specialists, and other work across other like healthcare system, including rural and low income areas. The administration is also cracking down on surprise like a medical billing and junk healthcare insurance. Well, too then Medicare for all if you can <laughs> What so frustrates me about like reading this like part of the Democratic Party platform policy is that like there are so many different points where it's like they come across a problem with the current healthcare system or health insurance system as what well, as it is when it's like Kamala Harris herself said that she was for something that would fix that she was for Medicare for all in 2019. But now that like, they don't have to campaign on Medicare for all at all to in order to win the elections, they could just go order men bad. They're gonna, they're not gonna like offer it. They're not gonna drop it. And then all the liberals are gonna like browbeat us into voting for the Democrats. And I agree that uh, why it's important to vote for the Democrats if you lived in swing state. And, and so like we have to accept this version of the Democrats side now. I do want like a, a Trump to like uh, be punished for his crimes and go to jails, but that just because uh, just because I am in favor of death doesn't mean I'm in favor of the prisons in any way. I can take the guards in like uh, and don't Trump uh, running in jail. Will that happen though? I'll believe that it will happen when it happens. But also, K Rock, why is Trump like as he gets to be as powerful as he is? Let's remove the systems that, like, have those positions of power exist so someone like Trump can get to those positions of power. Including capitalism. So that we wouldn't have, like, a, a, a someone like Trump to be a, someone's boss or someone's CEO. Or the CEO of a company. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the min it, as, uh, as I continue, the administration is also cracking down on surprise medical billing and junk in the health insurance, so patients are no longer ambushed by unexpected bills, scammed to buy low quality health coverage. Then offer Medicare for all. Uh, Democrats will expand uh, no surprise billing to include costly like uh, ground ambulance, as and will keep using antitrust laws to stop hospitals insurance and big pharma merging that undermines the competition in health care. They're they're prices for consumers. Why the hell is this competition in healthcare? Can I ask you that? Why the hell do we have for-profit hospitals? Just that in general. And why is it that like this is a consumer that has to pay for the ambulance rides too?
I don't want to live in the world that you want to live in, Kirok. And I, they, you will never understand me because I do not have the, like that mindset to like the wrongdoers must be punished. I know they're all white, by the way, and that's why they weren't being shot at. Do you think I didn't, uh, did not know that? Anyway, continue on. At the same time, Democrats will keep fighting to ease the burden of medical debt, which is, makes it harder for millions of Americans to get the mortgage or other loans for the future. Democrats provide funding to forget seven billion in medical debt and nearly three eight million Americans. For nearly three million Americans, the administration is urging states to use remaining funds to like do more. It's already persuaded uh, credit uh, reporting agencies to exclude um, and many more uh, medical debts from like credit reports, boosting people's like credit scores and like uh, and prospects for the future. Why the hell do we have credit scores? Is and then I don't want you to be able to be in a position of power to be give orders to like shoot fire onto people, Kirok. Kirok, I honestly do not want you to be a judge. I do not want you to be a police chief. I seriously do not want you to be in a position of power, Kirok. Because I think that repetitive like, justice mindset is the problem. Yes, it satisfies the lizard brain. But I think we should be better than our base natural assumptions and our base in natural impulses and move beyond the lizard brain. What is the law? Because we do not make the laws. It is the laws are decided uh, uh, without our consent uh, by other people, though. By the three percent that have a uh, three to five percent have influence on policies. And then it's that uh, those laws are then imposed uh, onto us at, uh, by the cops. Anyway, continuing on. Uh, it, but it's like, I, why the hell is it like the, the uh, like we are profiting off of like a medical care at, at all? And like, it's something that like medical debts are accounted to like credit scores. And why the hell do we have credit scores? I just hate that concept as well, too. How about the harshest criminals? So, you want to kill people, don't you, Kirok? Do you get like a satisfaction from do you would you get the a satisfaction a joyful glee from like giving the orders to like have police officers fire upon, uh, onto the January 6th rioters? Do you have like these kind of fantasies where you get to enact like reputative justice on the people? And that's a good point, like, you know, Lucy, deported the word. You, like you said, like, you're right, they were all white. That's a, I think that's the problem, Kira. They were all Americans. They're just like anyone else. I would say they were not like anyone else because they were rich. They were all rich. They were all able to, like, afford to, like, instantly just, like, uh, travel all the way to Washington, D.C. on a whim, just uh, on short notice. To, like, be there when the votes are happening. So they were all, like, uh, uh, all, like, rich white men, mostly men, that have, like, uh, white men in grievance politics. When you're so used to the positions of power and positions of privileges, equality feels like oppression. So we gotta work to like uh, uh, make sure those uh, positions of uh, privileges and power do not exist. Is we gotta like break down and dismantle the like white supremacist, cis hetero, owl patriarchal, ableist, settler colonialist, imperialist system that is intertwined with capitalism. People get a sense of superiority uh, and the capitalism for having a lot of coin. We should not encourage that. But capitalism does encourage that. Elon Musk feels like a genius because uh, he is super rich. Restorative justice is better than reputed justice. I agree, Azal. 
I don't think Kirok does. Because uh, Kirok, because a certain type of criminal should not be, I uh, have, should not deserve any sort of restored to justice at all, too. On secure account, I don't know what you're talking about right now. Um. Okay, I'll go and continue on. In all, in all, these actions have been reduced the total number of Americans with like listed medical debt from like 46 million to in 2020 to 15 million. That's still a lot of people, though. Um, and still, like one third of like the GoFundMe's that are like created are for like medical debt. And like, and also like, um, HRT kind of like, um, uh, healthcare and gender affirming healthcare is still not accessible or anything like that. I can care. I can don't understand what you're talking about. I have given up trying to understand you, honestly. In some ways, like it is because I understand you because of liberal, but like it's uh, yeah, okay. I see you like value people who work hard to work themselves to death. That's where, and I meant they work, Kirok. There's so much pointless work that we do that we don't have to do, but we do because of capitalism. But I guess, like, it gets to you, Kurok, if we, if everyone is not working 40 hours a week or something, that's terrible. No, uh, let, let me correct. You are clear about this. Every able-bodied person working 40 hours a week. And all society will collapse. Oh, my God. How terrible it is that every, that, like, we have, like, a life of leisure. You don't want a life of leisure. You, pro you believe that, like, uh, and what? Kurok. We are already deporting people to like Mexico that don't belong there, that didn't came there. The people that are, that are coming up from like Mexico, from like Guatemala, from like uh, Haiti, from like uh, Chile, from El Salvador, from like uh, Honduras. We destabilized those countries from Nicaragua. We destabilized those countries because we interfered with their elections or like uh, put in uh, like a dictator. We didn't put in Augusto Pinochet in Chile in 1973, the first September 11th, September 11, 1973. Hey, we destabilized the country in Guatemala twice, once in 1954, just so that like the United Fruit Company, Chibata, can have cheap bananas. And we did it again in the 80s. Hey, we destabilized Bolivia in 1971 and again in 2019. We backed the dictatorship in Argentina in 1976. If we don't want like so many people like coming in from like Mexico because they're they're taking their germs, we shouldn't be like involved in their governance and for uh, for as long as we did. Oh, but we have to because they're dun 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 socialism. No, I'm not following your logic, Kirok. I am not. I don't want to follow your logic, Kirok. But Ben lives in America. Kirok, accept that. You're realist, but apparently you want to live in fantasy where you can just like deport like the lazy ass people to like somewhere else. But then the Mexico would have to deal with Ben. Why do you want to like if Ben if you hate Ben so much you think you think that he's a cockroach, why do you want to like give a cockroach then to New Mexico? I can't believe it. I'm gonna ignore you, Kirok. Democrats also supported the administration's like historical like work to like close the like fundamental gaps in the little one's health care, including protections that access to reproductive like health care. Uh, how come they weren't able to do that? They just they, they honestly with like the Democrats, they use the like reproductive rights and reproductive health care sort of thing as a wedge issue. They use that as a way for like say this is why you should vote for us. They don't really want to codify that as well too. Or, or I don't believe they want to codify it because they still want to use that as a wedge issue for them to vote no, for uh, for people to vote for them over the tokens. That's my honest opinion on that. And just remember that like reproductive like uh, healthcare is uh, not just like uh, for women, it's for like women, non-binary folks, and trans men, uh, people with wounds, and this includes its efforts to reduce material. Uh, Reduced maternal uh, mortality, led by by a, a vice president Harris. She's called for a state to provide a full year of postmortem coverage uh, from like for medical care and uh, 
um, benefactors. Uh, with forty-eight like sta with forty-six states and district in the U.S. Virgin Islands now taking the step. I forgot that like in the U.S. we have some Virgin Islands. Ah, uh, wombs. Yes, exactly. Uh yeah, exactly, Lucidia. We should have like not only should we have boob communism, um, and com uh, just share around the boobs for whoever wants it. Oh, like hey, you don't have boobs? Here you go. So here's the boobs. Or I don't want these boobs. Someone else can have these boobs. Wombs as well. Penises as well. Uh, I mean, Kim Muscle probably had it right. That would be such a thing as a detachable penis. I can definitely see like having a detachable penis, so that I can like take it off and not need it when I, I and not. It's not gonna like taken off when I feel like it's gonna be like more of a hindrance to me than not. And it's like funny enough, my friend Lita, I know it's just this woman, very sis. Uh, but she, there have been times where it's like, man, I wish I had a penis. Just so that she can stand up and pee. Like when she was really, really drunk one time. And I can totally understand that. No, 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 kids, but big respect for reading this like a seeming pile of garbage. Welcome in the Harvey Apex as well, too. Yeah. And we'll come in. That's okay if you're not an anarchist. So long as you're not, like, uh, say, Stalin did, did nothing wrong or something like that, then, like, you're cool here as well, too. Uh, let's see. I forgot that, like, U.S. has some Virgin Islands as well, too. Sounds like something someone would say, and then it falls with, like, still says so. Yeah, exactly. Well, so long as you recognize that, like, someone did some, like, terrible things as well, too. Oh. Maybe Solon had some good writings. Um, and now, let and I would read uh, as well, too. Mal uh, would read, too. Mal did have some good ideas. Did some terrible things, though. Lennon also was not perfect, too. Uh, but anyway, continue on. And the administration is also making transforms. But taking this pile of like uh, garbage as well too. Let's continue reading this stream pile of garbage. The administration is also like making transforms in investments in like women's health research uh, to find better ways to like prevent, diagnose, and treat health conditions in women and to like make uh, uh, care more accessible and affordable. And, and it's like leading game-changing work to like end cancer as we know it, including the, uh, through the creation of the Advancement Research Project Agency for Health, or a PAH. Uh, Trump has no plan to reduce health care costs for Americans. He and his mongous allies have spent years like working to repeal the Affordable Care Act, and they failed, though. Um, failed twice. Uh, and trying and failing over 50 times. Well, okay, yeah, they did they, they, they cover that. No, Trump is once again promising to terminate the landmark uh, uh, law, gutting coverage for like 45 million Americans who rely on it, and doing and so will cost like uh, families uh, 30,000 a year, and like threatening protections to, for 100 million Americans with pre existing conditions. It will strip 150 million, million Americans with preventive care like uh, cancer screening and reduce access to like mental health and uh, substance use, use treatment. A, a Republican repeal would also deny life-changing like uh, health care to millions of seniors and people with disabilities. Finally, mention of people with disabilities. Uh, continue on. And kick young adults uh, up to age up to like 26 off their parents' insurance uh, plan. And, and it will push uh, more than like 500 plus like rural hospitals that are already at risk of closing down. I mean, why is that a thing? Again, health care should not be for profits as well, too. Have the hospitals be state run if they have uh, rural hospitals and these like me help out small too. And um, uh, yeah, uh, access to like mental health facilities, uh, actual mental health facilities that actually uh, care about their patients and not like the silence that like treat the patients as like prisoners or like anything like that. And yes, uh, substance abuse, um, drug addiction and alcoholism are medical conditions. They are. And should be treated as like a medical disease. And should not be treated as criminals. That's why I'm actually for legalized and old drunks. Uh, now, that's not going to realistically happen. Fentanyl's not going to be legalized. I don't think cocaine or cracker is going to be legalized anytime soon. Um, mushrooms or hallucinogenics might. LSD not. Uh, it has to be like, um, it has to be like uh, case by case as well too. I don't know what would be the next drug to like uh, be legalized. We're still waiting for like weed to finally be decriminalized. I and should I also say decriminalized and not legalized. It's kind of like messy when like things are legal as well too, because then there are things to be unlegal as well too. With, uh, like with like sex work, something like that. Sex work should be decriminalized, not legalized, because then it, when it's legalized, then you get the bureaucratic system involved, and that can cause its own host of problems. Bye bye. G just the crime as it just the crime as across the board, something like that. It removes the state from interfering, that sort of thing too. 
And then also by decriminalizing sex work, then, then sex workers that like are attacked by their like uh, customers as well too can go to the police and not have to worry being prosecuted or like being arrested for doing sex work. So there you go. You you, you get rid of a lot of the uh, problems of like abusive like uh, pimps and like uh, a series of abuses and as well as sex uh, trafficking and sla uh, sex slavery shift as well too uh, by decriminalizing sex work so people can actually come forward with like their abuses. Assuming that, like, the police will take those abuses seriously. They already have, or uh, there's already a massive problem with, like, uh, police not treating rape kits. From, like, cis women that are not sex workers. Or, or women that are not sex workers. And there's, and, like, they they just believe, like, that bitch is lying, Or it's like, oh, look what she was wearing, is that sort of thing, too. Fortunately, a patriarchal, like, system is, like, integrated into so many different, like, systems as well, too. Anyway.